Right then, we are at the business end of the season and we've put together a tremendous run of form. The way we're playing right now, I wouldn't put it past us beating Bayern Munich today. We also play Frankfurt as well after Bayern Munich, so stick around for that one. Since the last time we met, which was the Paderborn 2-1 home victory and the Werder Bremen 3-0 away victory, we've, uh, we've had two 1-0s. A 1-0 win against Bayer Leverkusen and a 1-0 loss against Borussia Dortmund. Per Schurz gave us the victory, a header from a corner in the 25th minute. That's how it stayed, a 1-0 victory over Leverkusen. If you look at the stats, I think it was a very even game watching it. I think we did deserve to win it. They had a lot more of the ball, but didn't do a massive amount with it to threaten us. But a 1-0 win over a team like Bayer Leverkusen is huge, absolutely huge. We followed it up with a 1-0 away defeat to Borussia Dortmund, who are top of the table, but there were plenty of positives to take from this game. Jadon Sancho with a goal 25 minutes from the end. If you look at the stats, we weren't really outplayed too much. It was very even, considering they are top of the league, established in the Bundesliga, and we're, uh, we're the new boys here. We didn't do too badly. We had our chances as well. We hit the woodwork. On any other day, we could have won this game or at least taken a point. Unfortunately, a 1-0 defeat. Which leaves the table with eight games to play looking like this. We sit in 13th, six wins, 11 draws, nine defeats, 29 points. Most importantly, eight points ahead of the relegation zone. So it is in our hands. Survival is up to us. If we blow it from here, that, that will be crushing. <laughs> Today, we play Bayern Munich in the derby and Frankfurt away. Bayern Munich, the first game, and the team is Lezzarini in goal, Gubel, Schurz, Bakusu, and Henry, the back four. A midfield three who are working very nicely together of Eteki, Bekiroglu, and Doyle. Aarons continues on the right, Pedri on the left, Moise Keen up front. And do you know what? I'm fancying us for this game. I do fancy us. Bayern Munich, not been great this season, whereas we've hit an amazing run of form recently. If you have a look at their team, it's uh, it's intimidating. Nubal, Alaba, Pavard, Kimmich, Tolisso, Neres, Coutinho. I mean, the talent on display is, is second to none. It baffles me as to why they haven't done too well this season. But, but I have faith in the boys that we can win this game. Got to be passionate in a derby. Go out there and get yourself some revenge, boys. Let's, let's take all three points away from our Munich rivals. Early booking for Bayern Munich, Benjamin Pavard picking up a yellow. Hopefully, I mean, if they get some players sent off, that'll make our job much easier. 15 minutes in, not much has happened. A very even game, still waiting, waiting for a highlight to bring you. Half an hour gone, still waiting for a highlight. And here is one. Josh Kimmich has been booked as well. So two of Munich's, well, two of Bayern's back four have, uh, have got yellow cards. As we come forward with Tommy Doyle, space on the wings. Rolando Ahrens picks the ball up on the left. The shot is blocked. Becker Oglu can pick up the loose ball. Can we work it left? Tommy Doyle looks for Pedri. He's in behind here. Pedri's ball. Moise Keane, it's a great save. And Romero clears for a corner. A good chance, though, to take the lead. Tommy Doyle to whip the corner in. Scher's header goes over the bar. Two good chances. If you look at the stats there, five shots to Bayern's one. We're looking good. Half time approaching. Nothing has happened since the, the two chances we saw. And I think, there we go. Half time, nil nil. Not the most exciting of halves, I must admit. But um, we're holding our own, we're doing well, and despite what the possession says, I think we're the better side. Not in terms of personnel, but in terms of playing. We've got a long way to go to be the better side in terms of personnel. I'm going to take a risk with the team talk and say uh, I'm not happy. That's worked, they look fired up. So hopefully we can go out in the second half, get a goal, get two goals. Winning this game is important. Rolando Aaron's having to come off with an injury. Konsiaka will come on and replace him on the right. But as I was saying, winning this game is important, not only for the fans, for the club, to be our rivals, but for the sake of survival as well. This will move us further away from the bottom three. Around 25 minutes to go, nothing happening in this second half. We are the better team, the much better team. We Should we take the game to them more with 15 to go? I think so. We're gonna up the tempo and uh, up the passing directness as well. In transition, we're going to counter press and we're gonna, we're gonna push the line of engagement higher and press more urgently. Hopefully pressure them into a mistake win the ball higher up the pitch, turn and uh, get, get an opportunity to score at least. Brewster and Sousa have come on for Etiki and Keane with about five minutes to go. We'll demand more from the boys. Time is ticking away. There's There's been barely any highlights in this game. 
Not much has happened. There's four minutes added on. If we win it here, do we go attacking? We'll go attacking for the last three minutes. Hopefully, if something happens now, it doesn't look like it. Time is ticking down. It's going to be a nil-nil draw at home against Bayern Munich, which isn't the worst result in the world. Considering they didn't have a single highlight, I promise I haven't edited one out. They have not had a single highlight in this game. That is a huge positive. And it's another point towards survival as well. We're going to say they were unlucky today. It wasn't our night. And we're continue forward. Keeps us in 13th. Still, well, nine points ahead of the bottom three. But everyone else does have a game in hand. The Rolando Aaron's injury is quite bad as well. He's going to be out for five weeks with a torn groin muscle, which is... That's unfortunate. He's been in good form recently. Regardless, we've got Frankfurt away in eight days. Hopefully we can build on... Well, this was a good result, so we can't complain. I'll see you then. Okay, welcome back. Frankfurt away. I think we got a draw against these guys earlier in the season at home, nil-nil. So who knows? They're fighting for top four, but if we can get a point at least here, again, a very good result. The team then, Schurz and Rolando Arons have to miss out through injury. Lazzarini starts in goal. Gubu, Heiss, Bakusu and Henry the back four. Eteki, Bekiroglu, who's just got a new contract, so should be over the moon. And Tomido in midfield. Isidore starts on the right. Pedri on the left. Moise Keane up front. Frankfurt playing a 4-4-2. I'm kind of treating this match as a, as a free swing here. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get anything. I feel like this is the type of game where Frankfurt will, will turn up. Hopefully, I'm, I'm proved wrong and we can at least take a point away from here. Of course, we are missing two key men in Rolando Ahrens and Per Schurz, and Per Schurz, uh, injury absence is showing already because Frankfurt are going to have a penalty here, and I think it's uh, Sebastian Heist, the man that's coming to replace him, which has given away the penalty. Oh, I'm mistaken. I stand corrected. It was Kevin Bakusu. Inside two minutes, we've conceded a penalty. We just need confirmation from the ref. And there it is. Annoying. Very annoying. We did the same thing against Paderborn a few games ago. And uh, Kaluris will step up and tuck away. We, well, that's, that's, that's an awful start, isn't it? Three minutes in, we are 1-0 down already. We'll see it in 3D. Lezerini tries to make himself look big. Again, again, he just didn't dive far enough to save the ball. He kind of just fell down to his right-hand side. All right, boys, come on. Let's not let this game get away from us so early on. They are dominating here. Six shots, three on target. We've barely been in the game the first 20 minutes. I came in positive. I'm thinking potentially we go to cautious just so we can stay in the game for as long as possible. If we go 2-0 down, it's uh, obviously doubly difficult for us to get back into it. Doubly difficult? Is that a phrase? Doubly difficult? I think it, it, if it's not, then... I've just created that. If it is, then I'm stealing someone else's work. Pedri looks for Moise Keane. Is he going to get in here? Oh, he has. Moise Keane, he's scored. It's 1-1. A defensive mix-up. And Moise Keane has nipped in. And what? Why? Pedri's ball over the top. That is... Are you sure? That is... Mar oh, it's so marginal. It's so marginal. Is he even really involved in that? Because he chased the ball, but, you know, they had a chance to clear. I guess I'd be annoyed if that was given against us, but even more annoyed that it's... Well, it has been given against us. I mean against us if we were defending and that was allowed to count, I'd be furious because it is technically offside. But come on, cut some slack. Frankfurt coming forward as we approach half-time. We get a good block in and Pedri can bring the ball away. We can counter here. Moise King, stay on side if you get the ball. Pedri going on his own. It's a great save from the keeper. Fantastic run from Pedri. Another highlight, Isidore back for Jan. We've played much better since we've gone to cautious. Only the two shots we've had so far in 40 minutes. And as I say, we've played much better. We've given the ball away. We're in all sorts of trouble here. Caloris. Ah. The curse of the commentator strikes again. Just as I say, we're, we're looking good. We give the ball away in an awful position and Frankfurt punish us. 2-0 well played here from, from Sal. He finds Kaluris, who, a first-time strike. The keeper, again, just falls to his knees. Can you make an attempt to save the ball? Half-time, 2-0. It's not looking good. I think, I mean, we're going to get a crescent with him. That was absolutely terrible. <laughs> your performance, your, your performance, your performance has been extremely, has been extremely poor. I'm all over the place. I do think, though, we are going to mix this tactic up a little bit. We've got nothing to lose here. 2-0 down. We may as well go for it. Brewster on for Eteki. We've gone to a 4 2 4 We've gone attacking. Like I said, absolutely nothing to lose. And there's a highlight straight from kickoff. If we score from here, I look like a genius. If we concede, I look like an absolute fool. And if nothing happens, we just, you know, continue the game 
as as we would. Can we win the ball? We can't. Isidore loses a header, which is annoying. Kostic coming forward, finds Kaur. Pedri nips in, wins the ball off to Costa, and we are away. Pedri, can he, can he find someone? Is he going to shoot? He does shoot. It goes wide. Unlucky, but a good start to the second half. Frankfurt have a free kick down here with Kostic. It's a dangerous position. It's whipped in. Lazzarini makes a save. Can we counter? Look, we've got five people forward there. Kick it. Kick the ball. He's given it to Rian Brewster. Back for Isidore. And Tommy Doyle, he's breaking away. He's not the best finisher. Tommy Doyle, it's a great save. Moise Keane taps in. We're back in the game. 2-1. Five minutes after the break. We'll see it here. A lovely ball through from Isidore for Tommy Doyle. He was in on goal. Like I said, not the best finisher. It's a good save by Kevin Trapp. But Moise Keane follows up and he cannot miss from there. If he did miss from there, monitor... Camera, ring light, everything out the windows. We've demanded more straight away and we have another highlight. Pedri coming forward. Don't lose it there. There's a, he's, I mean, they've parted like the Red Sea. Pedri, he's still going. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. That's, if you can see, I was, I, I, I was I'm praying for an equaliser. Another highlight here. Rico Henry starting off in the same position down the left. Moise Keane coming forward. Fine Brewster. He's in on goal. Moise Keane, he scored. It's 2-2. Two, two. 15 minutes after halftime, I look like an absolute genius here, a tactical wizard. What a comeback, what a comeback. If we win it from here, my goodness, Moise Keane picked up the ball and he just ran, he ran at his defenders, he was in on goal, he found the goal, a lovely right-footed finish. Kevin Trapp can't keep it out. Tommy Doyle with the assist, him and Moise Keane have changed the game for us here in the second half. Another highlight on the right-hand side, Tommy Doyle whipped in, Keane, is that a foul? It's not. De Costa can clear only as far as Rico Henry. Our tails are up, lads. We're looking good. Beckett Oglu finds, finds absolutely nobody. Ruggiero's coming forward. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, I don't believe it. The ball across the midfield was absolutely terrible. Ruggiero picked it up. Lazzarini, he should be saving that. That's awful goalkeeping. And uh, we got it back to 2-2 and we've thrown it away just like that. It's probably because I didn't demand more. We'll do it now. We'll demand more. There's another highlight. It's Frankfurt coming forward again. The ball in. Heiss heads away. We need to get on those second balls. So, can we win this one? That's a fantastic pass over for Heri. Heri back for De Costa. I've got a bad feeling. Kostic, De Luca. I mean, the shots are flying in. We're getting bodies in the way. Can we clear the ball? We're not even clearing it properly. De Costa back for so. I'd like to think the highlight is going to come to an end. Kostic, he's, uh, he's offside. The highlight does come to an end. Lazzarini has found Pedri on this left-hand side. Moise Keane, what a touch. Moise Keane, oh, it's a great save. He's had so many good opportunities. Tucked two away. Unfortunately, couldn't get his hat-trick. The highlights, though, coming thick and fast here. Moise Keane again turns his man. That is, well, we'll forget about that. I'm not even, let's, let's just, shh. Sousa and Konsiakau have replaced Bekaroglu and Isidore. Both of those boys have had poor games today. Hopefully the subs can give us some fresh legs, some life in the final third of the pitch. Sousa, Doyle, Keane, what a move. Can we finish? Oh, why did we not shoot when we were in the box? Why did we work it back out? Ten minutes to go. What a game for the neutrals. This must be brilliant. There's a highlight for Frankfurt. It's headed away from Bakusu. And uh, we can't get the second ball. If we win it here, we've got pace up front. There it is. Moise Keane, look at him go. Look at him go. Moise Keane, why can he not finish? <laughs> I'm being harsh on him because he scored two goals, two really good goals. But when he's in that position, he just needs to take the ball a little bit closer to the goal. Another highlight for us down on the left-hand side. Moise Keane, a poor decision there to not pass the ball and try and run his way through the Frankfurt defence. And they come forward Again with the ball. Kostic beating his man. He's in on goal. He shoots wide right. We're going very attacking for the last five minutes. Absolutely nothing to lose here. Push forward, boys. Come on. If we get an equaliser, three minutes to go. There's a highlight. Goebel finds Brewster. Brewster is cleared away. And again, that second ball. Oh, goodness me. Sebastian Heiss. He's taken out his man. He's got a second yellow card. We're down to 10 men. We're just going to do this. We're going to put Bakusu there. We, we can't make any more changes. Go extremely direct. Let's push higher up the pitch. Close them down much higher. Get stuck in. I mean, we, we, we've got nothing to lose. We can't do any more. We'll push the wing backs on attack as well. Essentially, we could just be playing with one centre back here. So it wouldn't surprise me if they scored a fourth from the free kick. Can we? We can't. Kostic, he's beaten Google to the ball. Lazzarini with a great save. He keeps us in it again. The corner's whipped in. It's headed over by Kalouris, who can't get his hat-trick. There's a minute to go, 
and there's a highlight. All we need is one chance. One chance. Tommy Doyle coming forward. This could be it. Tommy Doyle. He finds Rian Brewster. He's in. Oh, it's a great save from Trap. That was it. That was the chance. And it looks like time is going to wind down. We've played 94 minutes. The time is up. Can we get the ball forward? Can we get the ball forward? Lazzarini just kicks it out for a throw. I mean, anywhere up the pitch would have been better than that. There's still time. If we can win the ball from the throw and just smash it forward, there is still time. It doesn't look like it, though. Da Costa finds Rogerio on the left. We're completely outnumbered at the back here. Rogerio for Kostic. Bakusu heads clear. And that is it. Full time. That is so unlucky. We played really well. Really, really well. The second half performance... You know, a joy to behold, as FM likes to say. Moise Keane with two goals. We could have got more. We had plenty of chances. It was Becker Ogley's mistake that led to the winner from Rogerio. But, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm happy even though we've lost. Unlucky, boys. That was... We'll, we'll, we'll be cautious with them. It would have been nice to win there. It wasn't to be. Everyone's, you know, a lot of people have gained confidence. We look relaxed motivated. There's plenty of positives to take from that performance. And it leaves the table looking like this with six games to play in the season. We are seven points ahead of Augsburg in 16th. I think we're, uh, we're too far ahead of Paderborn and Hanover to be caught by them. They're still on 16 and 14 points respectively. The only team you think that could catch us would be FC Augsburg. And do you know what? I don't think they're going to. I think we can still get a few more wins this season. We've hit a fantastic run of form. Even the games we've lost against Dortmund and Frankfurt, we've looked really good. We've been unlucky in both. And we've only lost by the odd goal. So I think with six games left, we are going to be okay in the Bundesliga. That wraps up this episode then. A draw against Bayern Munich, an unfortunate loss against Frankfurt. Still a good episode considering we haven't won a game. The next time we meet, I think we're going to do Hanover 96 and Hertha Berlin. These two teams are in and around us at the bottom of the league. Well, the bottom half of the league. Uh, I think those two games make perfect sense. Even though we haven't won a game today, survival is still looking good. It's in our hands. Surely we can't bottle it from here. Surely. If you've enjoyed the episode, please do drop a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be back tomorrow evening, 7pm with Hanover and Hertha Berlin. Take care. Goodbye.